Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can see, today's topic is about coriander. Coriander is a very commonly used herb in our uh, cooking. Because of the, the essential oil, it gives this nice aroma to enhance the taste and taste of our dishes and also help soften uh, the smell and taste of certain meats. Besides this uh, essential oil that gives nice aroma, coriander has also very nice nutrition inside. It has vitamins, for example, vitamin K, vitamin A, and vitamin C. It also contains minerals like calcium and potassium. Um, it depends where you are from. Okay. Coriander, um, usually, typically in Finland, we get them in pots like this. They can last quite long if you look after them nicely, like a plant. But in the place where you live, if you don't get them in a pot or plant like this, then typically you get them in bundles and they don't last very long. So today, before we start to show you the tea um, we're going to make, I will teach you first a tip, how to store your coriander so you can enjoy them longer, you don't need to waste them. First, you chop them into small pieces like this, okay, and put them in a the, uh, container, and then cover it, Put it into a freezer. This way your coriander can stay nice and fresh for up to one month. Okay. Another way you can store it is to put it in the fridge. This way you can store your coriander for about five days. So how do we do it? First you take the bundle of coriander, you clean it nicely, get rid of the uh, old leaves like this. This one we got rid we will get rid of it. Okay. And you, you put them nicely on um, a piece of paper and you, you uh, use water to uh, spray the water on the paper first. This way you also give some moisture to the coriander and wrap it nicely like this. And then you put it in a plastic bag with a seal. Okay? Remember when you put the uh, coriander in your plastic bag for storage, leave some air inside so the coriander can still breathe a bit and it doesn't get squashed that easy when you put it in the fridge. This way, like I said, you can store your coriander for up to five days. So you can still enjoy, you don't need to throw your coriander away. Coriander in the ancient times, in, um, it has been used traditionally as a natural remedy for kids who have measles or chicken pox. In the old days, if you know that uh, they, the medicine is not, uh, was not as advanced as today. Today we have vaccination, we have medication. But in the old days, this was a very good remedy at that time to help kids to overcome this, these issues. Coriander in Chinese medicine, uh, it helps calm the lungs and the digestive system down. So as you can imagine, when you're catching a cold, in the beginning, you feel you're not sweating very nicely, your muscles are tight, you feel uncomfortable, but a bit feverish, but not exactly very bad. And then you feel, oh, my tummy is not feeling too good, I don't really have appetite. So this is exactly when coriander can help you. So what you do is that um, you take chopped coriander like this, you have your hot water ready, Because it's fresh coriander, we need abundance of them. So you take a spoon, take two big tablespoons. This time you need to be very generous to yourself. Yes, like this. Okay, then you put hot water in. a very nice aroma already. Okay. Then you let it sit there. Okay. This tea needs to brew for a little bit longer, so it needs to take about 10-15 minutes before you can enjoy it. If you have time, of course, you take all your chopped coriander, put it in a pot of water and boil it for about 10 minutes. And that is also very effective tea for the um, beginning of your cold to help you feel better, to help calm your digestive system, and you can recover faster. So this is today's um, the tea. Uh, if this happened to, to happen in winter time, when it's colder, um, remember we did a, uh, a, a 
video on ginger tea. With this coriander, you can add a bit of uh, ginger inside uh, in the cold weather time. That can help warm up the body and uh, fight the cold faster away too. Okay? If you have any comments or questions or any topic you feel like to uh, discuss more, please make, uh, write in our YouTube comments or send me an email or leave a message in our Facebook site. I will be very happy to do a topic that you would like to know more. Thank you very much for today.